Reducing poverty and inequality are key priorities under Bhutan's five-year economic development plan. Data and statistics on population, infrastructure, the environment, and more help us plan policies, predict changes, and design appropriate interventions that protect the well-being of all citizens. It can also help us measure the impact of policy decisions over time. To support data access, the National Statistics Bureau, in partnership with the World Bank, created the Bhutan Interactive Data Portal, your gateway to data-driven decision-making. With over 1,000 statistical indicators organized around eight themes, the portal contains a large number of datasets and visualizations that are intuitive to access, helping policymakers and researchers in the public, private, and academic sectors solve real-world problems for the people of Bhutan. For example, creating a just and thriving society requires that all citizens have access to two important components of equality, decent education and basic health care. Let's say we want to know which parts of the country are falling behind in these two sectors to better target our interventions in areas that need it most. First, let's check educational attainment. We go to social conditions. Then, among the various subtopics for that theme, we select education. And then, under category, attainment. We can examine the share of population that completed 10th grade by clicking on the relevant indicator. The data visualizations reveal wide variation across districts and also between urban and rural areas. Meanwhile, healthcare is free in Bhutan. But for various reasons, not everyone utilizes health services when needed. For example, not all women receive antenatal care during their pregnancy, which may lead to differences in birth outcomes and early life conditions. Within the social conditions theme, click on the health subtopic, then category, fertility, and indicator, received antenatal care. Here, we observe that several districts are doing a great job providing antenatal care, but some districts do lag behind. We can also compare education and healthcare data by clicking Dual View to view the data sets side by side. Here, we observe that in some districts, both indicators have a lower than average value, whereas in Thimpu, both indicators have a higher than average value. These differences in opportunities may influence long-term individual and economic potential. Let's look at another example to demonstrate how the data portal can help you gather economic insights. If we click on the Economy and Industries theme, we can see the subtopic Tourism. Tourism has grown tremendously as seen from the increase in annual tourist arrivals over the last decade. When we select the Tourism Earnings Indicator, we also observe an increase in tourism earnings over time. These increased earnings may help stimulate the economy and create jobs. However, when we move to the tree map on the right and select the indicator for number of bed nights by Zonkak, we can see that tourism activities are geographically concentrated in just a few districts. And when we select tourists by activity, we see that a very large share of tourists visit Bhutan to engage in cultural programs. These data reveal that there is still a lot of potential to boost tourism by diversifying tourism activities and expanding tourism to other parts of Bhutan. These are just a few examples of what you can learn from using the Bhutan Interactive Data Portal. If you want to learn more, visit www.nsp.gov.bt and start exploring. The Government of Bhutan and the World Bank hope these data will support policymakers and researchers in building a just and prosperous future for the Bhutanese people.